Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to connect IIS into Cold Fusion. I use Cold Fusion 11. This, this can be used more or less with any uh, version of Cold Fusion. If any changes, please put comment on your uh, comment box. So uh, let's start. So first, uh, before install, before connecting IIS into Cold Fusion. Um, you have to enable few features in I uh, in IIS. Let's go to IIS here under information internet information services under world wide web services under application development features enable CGI uh, ASAP extension and ASAP field test check all these okay uh, once after that um, um, to connect IAS into cold vision we have basically two ways one is during installation and the other is using WS config tool so uh, since I have already installed cold fusion into my uh, machine I use the second way uh, using WS config tool let's go to the folder where WS config lies okay here under C fusion runtime bin there is a file called WS config click that the wizard open click on add app server host you have to provide the host name where your connector lies it's local host for me if it's remote then you have to if it's uh, your connector is in remote then you have to provide remote host name app server cluster this will list all the clusters um, you uh, look you placed in cold fusion and web servers I select the web server IIS I selected IIS website I select for all the website and configure 32 bit if it's your machine is 32 bit website you have to check that advanced enable verbose logging for connector here if you check that it will uh, log all the requests to the uh, IIS it's um, you can use uh, while development and um, uh, uh, during debugging also but not in production enable buffering by default it's checked it will buffer all the uh, responses from the IIS next is maximum number of connection to reuse uh, that can be customized depends upon load on your servers timeout for idle connection that also can be customized depends upon load on your service click on ok click on ok now it would have generated um, it would have generated few connector files let's go and verify that okay for that you have to go to Fusion 11 or in, uh, in other case it's different then go to the config then WS config yes connector files have been generated right so click there you can see uh, the connector files listed here this uh, ISAP redirect.dll that is the uh, connector uh, file loaded on IS uh, IIS and the ISAP redirect properties that will uh, tell properties of the uh, config connector configuration and next is URI worker map dot properties that will uh, provide um, uh, that will provide the which and all file extension dot CFM and the uh, uh, mapping mapping also will be listed here that can be handled by the cold fusion and next is workers dot property that will list all the workers which handles our cold fusion request for me here it's C fusion and its properties like type uh, host port and maximum reuse connection also listed in cluster uh, server environment the um, that will create new uh, workers here and at the same way that will be uh, adding more and more overcase over here with new properties right so that's how we handle cluster uh, service in cold fusion basically so uh, we made sure that these connector files have been generated basically and now uh, let's go to the ias and see uh, the changes happened over there let's go to the ias and uh, let's see here so first you have to uh, there is a connector module has been created in um, ISAP and um, CGA uh, restrictions there you can see tomcat underscore all that is the uh, connector module created that is pointing to config WS config one ISAP redirect dot DLL that made sure that connector um, connector module has been created and now let us see here once since we have um, we 
somehow uh, connected IAs into the old website. So that will automatically create, generate two virtual directories for every web, new website we create. Those two virtual directories are CFID and Jakarta. Jakarta uh, right click and explore you will see it is pointing directly to the connector files config ws config one ISAP those things right so um, another one important stuff is you can see one more uh, file called um, uh, handler mappings that will um, that will uh, provide the list of extension file extensions that can be handled by our connector .cfm .cfc files everything is listed there and the other one stuff is um, ISAP filters uh, that will um, uh, that will turn the connector module uh, that can be handled by the cold fusion that also list details listed so that's all about the connection when you connect um, IAs into cold fusion these are the main steps so hope you enjoyed video uh, if um, if you sound um, if it sounds like something good for you make sure to join me and subscribe my channel with bell icon pressed for notifications and um, um, hope we will see in next video thank you